Welcome, Aries Taurus, to your end of the month reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, since I had to do midterms with my son, these readings are actually a little modified um, through spirit. Uh, these are actually going to be for the end of the month going into the beginning of November. Okay, so I'll have a date up there as well to show you when they, they end. So about the fourth or so. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you until the beginning of November. Best message, please, for Aries Taurus. What do you think of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you? Best message, please, Aries Taurus. It's talking about that healing, that moderation, feeling like you're going with the flow, some harmony, trying to keep the peace and harmony uh, about you, pretty much. Okay. Very beautiful. You could also be waiting for a perfect timing of something to come through. So you could be kind of in the waiting game. But I like it because you're still showing that peace, that harmony, and that moderation while you're waiting. So I don't see any impatience, so you're being very patient about the process. Okay. And clarifying on the temperance, please, for Aries Taurus. This card's not only going to clarify on the temperance of the entire reading. There it is, the waiting game. Oh my gosh, there it is, guys. So, yeah, definitely feeling like you're in the waiting game. But like I said, because you're using the peace and harmony and you do feel like you're just moderately going along, um, it's like that's where the going with the flow is coming from. And I love it because it's like showing she's got one step foot in uh, the water and one foot out on the earth. So it's kind of like you're holding down the ground, but you're still waiting for this to come through, allowing that water to just kind of rush right over you. Nice. Getting straight into the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and your future. You have the third eye chakra. That's why, because you're using your intuition, so you're saying, okay, I can see exactly what's going on, so I'm just going to be patient and wait. And look, you have the perfect purple right here, too, right? And it's saying the same thing. I'm visualizing, I'm waiting. I'm intuitive to the understanding that I just have to allow this to unfold on its own. I can't push anymore. There's nothing I can really push for. Uh, foundations and achievement. Looking for that beautiful abundance. Looking for that prosperity. Waiting for that blessing to come through. Got a purple. Look at that. Your third eye is really open over here, guys. Really being able to see. And you have the fertility coming. There it is. So I would say probably about the end of the month, the middle of the month, the end of the month, you're going to start seeing the prosperities really coming through, starting to really feel what you've been waiting for. So if you feel like you're down in a rut right now and you've done all the work that you can do, um, at least you can see it coming in with the fertility over here. Some foundations and achievements waiting for that stability, waiting for those blessings to come in, saying, I can see these blessings coming in. I just have to work. And it's like you're putting the work in. Now you're just relaxing. Absolutely. Queen of Pentacles. Well, hey, look, I'm nurturing the situation. I know there's an abundance that can be here, but I'm sitting very firm for my beliefs and very firm for this manifestation, keeping my foundations as firm as possible and being able to keep my achievements with high hopes. Got the rainbow over here talking about that high hopes. Self-assured. Seeing within your cups. Seeing what you can see. Saying I'm taking control of the situation. I'm very self-assured. I know where I can go. I know what I need to do. I've visualized this already and just waiting for the judgment call. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll get some water. But yeah, just waiting for that judgment to come in. Waiting for it to come in your favor. Might actually be waiting on a real phone call. Okay, so waiting for the turnaround and the cycle to change, right? 
So with the third eye chakra over here, this is how you became so peaceful. You said, I put in all the work, I know where I am, and now I'm resting easy. Yeah, you're resting easy. So I'm just letting it go, I'm waiting, and I'm not allowing it to give me any anxieties. What does the anxieties give you anyways, guys, right? Nothing but worry. Um, and it worry gets you nowhere. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to make the judgment or the cycle change come in. It's not going to uh, make the phone call come in and quit her, right? It's just going to make you go crazy <laughs> and feel not very good, right? So you're holding tight and really taking control of the situation. And taking control of the situation is allowing it to flow on its own. Wow. So it, pretty much what you're saying is I am allowing it to take control. I'm allowing it to do what it's supposed to do to get to the Ten of Coins for that success, for those achievements, for that opportunity, for this phone call to come in, waiting for my ships to come in. That's it. So what are you waiting for? Your ships to come in. So right now it's just all about really just staying calm um, in the present and just knowing where your, your footing is. And keeping that um, peace and harmony within yourself. Especially if that's the best way to open these doors. Yeah, and when these doors open, you will then start to see all these things coming in. Um, so I do see the Seven of Cups starting to open up. I see this opportunity coming. So, very nice. So pretty much just keep yourself exactly where you are. Because it is going to open up these doors with the fertility over here, you're nurturing the situation. Why are you nurturing the situation? Because you're going to have that. Look at that. You're having the change. You're having this cycle come through. The judgment is coming through. Giving you new directions. There's your chariot or your rainbow. So if you're manifesting, you can say, here comes my chariot. Here comes my manifestation is coming through. Um, and you do see that, though. Because you do see it coming to light and it's going to give you a new direction. And you're saying, now I can start kind of moving around. Now I can start kind of thinking in another way of thinking, right, of what to do next with the chariot. Because that's giving you the opportunity to um, travel, like I said, into a different um, circumstance. Giving you all kinds of things. Um, but it's the accomplishment that you've been waiting for. So now you can proceed with any plan or strategy that you've developed or develop more of your strategy and plan. And you can also go ahead and double check facts um, to make sure that everything is going the way you want it to go. Right? Kind of double checking, I guess. Double check. That way, once you start to move, then you'll know exactly where you want to go. And then uh, making that more productive. The chariot, look at, yeah, definitely. Because it's going to give more decisions. Now you're going to be juggling probably two different ideas of what's going on. Which one's more productive, this one or that one? Um, so it does feel like whatever you, you're waiting for. Uh, because, look, you have seven of cups. So there's a few options on the board over here for you um, that you need to do. And then it's just taking, look at that, the leap of faith for the new beginning. There is something that you're going to want to leap into um, that you're definitely saying, well, here we go. Right. But it's the risk that you want to take. Um, it just feels like one might be a little more risky than the other. Right. So you're going to want to look at everything. That's why double checking your facts would be a great idea or the situation before actually taking the action to move, okay? And let's get a daily healing card so that you can keep yourself at peace and harmony over here. You never know what's around that corner. Always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations that will help you keep yourself as the temperance, okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.